I am spending most of my time these days in celebrating baccalaureate masses for our graduating students. And if time permits, I would stay during the graduation rites. In celebrating this solemnity of the ascension of the Lord into heaven, I would like to use this image of graduations. I notice that when a graduate's name is being called, the person from the ground would ascend to the stage and then the graduate would receive the diploma or an award but he will or she will receive that here at the stage and the graduate should ascend up here. The movement tells us of this very important affirmation. The good will always be rewarded. Hard work and diligence will always bear fruit. We can never possess what we are unwilling to pursue. You know, the other day I was so moved when one student received the award. She is the, the mania cum laude of the batch. And her father worked in the school where she studied. And the father is working at the maintenance department. The father is a carpenter and the daughter graduated as mania cum laude and then in her speech she publicly thank the father and the mother and she said I am very proud of you as my father without your hard work as a carpenter as a maintenance worker I will not be able to receive this award The award is a confirmation or affirmation of the hard work that this family and other friends and significant others have contributed together. The ascension of Jesus is the affirmation of the Father of the good works He had done during His public ministry and during His entire life with us. But notice, when someone ascends to the stage, he leaves or she leaves behind something 
somebody. But the departure or movement of that person to another place is not signifying her or his absence. There may be distance, but there is no absence. The distance is a transition for a new way of relating. The seemingly absence of the person from there because he is already here. My presence, for instance, I am absent there now that I am the Bishop of Tandag. I am physically absent from my family, from the Archdiocese of Cagayan de Oro. But my absence is my new way of being present. My coming here expands my presence wider than my presence physically with my family and with, with the Archdiocese of Cagayan de Oro. That is what ascension means. The departure of Jesus does not signify His absence from us but Jesus becomes present to us in a totally different way in a spiritual way even parents would experience this when your son or daughter will proceed for higher studies they would leave the family physically and they will stay to another place and their absence is their new way of being present. When someone dies in our family who is so close to us, their absence is their new way of being present. Death is teaching us to enter into a transition to a new way of relating with our loved ones. And at times, they become so present when we are missing them. And so, the, the ascension of Jesus to the Father, to the heavens, is actually the coming together of heaven and earth. Because Jesus is now taking our humanity, our creaturehood, to the heavens. And it is this transfigured, risen Jesus that will transform our humanity and our earthly existence. And therefore, Jesus continues to be present in our lives. The divine continues to be present in our human existence. And we experience that in our lives in many different ways that is being portrayed even in art. We have a touch of the divine presence in our architectural design in the church. For instance, if you notice, the designs that we have there, you know, near the crucifix and the side doors, these are nets. You know, 
nets to catch fish because the the design of our church is a boat a boat and the net is reminding us that we are here in this church because Jesus the great fisher of men and women was able to catch us he caught us and he brought us here through his grace even if we are still sinners God caught us and brought us here for us to encounter God. The design of the main door, later you will see, maybe next year. The design there is the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd searching for the lost sheep. And this church is not just a church for the righteous. This is also a church for sinners like you and me. And it is the Good Shepherd through His grace who brought us here no matter how broken we are. Here in this church, we experience the coming together of the divine and the human. Look at the ceiling. It is so high. Dili lang para, dili igang. It's not just that so that we have a better ventilation. No, it's not just that. It is not just for architectural beauty. It's not just that. It's so high. The ceiling is so high because we want to communicate the presence of this transcendent God, a God who is far from us. And that is the truth about our God. He is far from us. But the other side of the truth is God who is transcendent is also immanent. We can touch Him. We can receive Him during communion. In the homily, when the homily touches our hearts, that is the encounter of the human and the divine. And therefore, the task of a homilist, of a priest, of a bishop, is not just to proclaim the word of God, but the homily should facilitate an encounter between God and His people. And that is why I am not just here to explain to you the meaning of the word, but to relate the word in the very struggles and the joys that you are experiencing in your life. Because if I am going to do that, if I am able to do that, there will be an encounter between the divine and the human. And in that way, we will better understand what the mystery of the ascension is all about. It is the encounter, the closeness between our humanity and the divinity of God. And that is why, after the Mass, you are being sent as missionaries in order 
to prolong this experience of encountering God in this church so that we can bring the presence of Jesus in the lives of others outside this church. And the challenge for each one of us is how do we make the family as a place of encounter between God and the family members. The way you love each other. When the couple loves for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health. When parents are still forgiving to their children, no matter how many times they fall. When we forgive, there is an encounter between God and His people. In our political sphere, those who are newly elected government officials, Pope Francis said, politics is a vocation and therefore it should promote the common good. And therefore every politician who is in power, who is in a position of power, will echo the words of Jesus. I have come not to be served, but to serve. And I have come that you may have life, you may have all the social services and have it to the full. And if a politician will do that, he is an instrument of this unity between God and his people. Those of you who are sick, how do we encounter God in our illnesses? How do we encounter God when we see life ending? Do we feel God embracing us? Or when we sin, in the guilt feelings and sorrow that we feel, are we experiencing God's presence drawing us closer to Him? Every experience is a potential opportunity for us to experience God. Because we can find God in everything. And nothing can separate us from the love of God. Whatever situation, it can always be an opportunity to be close to God because even in His ascension, God continues to be present in our lives here and now. Amen.